2018 marked the 100th anniversary of the flu pandemic, often referred to as the Spanish influenza pandemic. This devastating event claimed the lives of an estimated 50 million people worldwide. Since then, significant milestones have been reached in both the prevention and treatment of influenza. In 1903, 15 years before the 1918 pandemic, Johnson & Johnson started to mass-produce hypodermic needles and syringes. The needles were designed to fit a standard syringe, as the company recognized the need to administer medication as an injectable form to a large number of people, for example, during vaccination programs. Prior to this, most drugs were administered orally. In 1933, British researchers isolated and identified influenza A, the flu strain most likely to cause a pandemic. In fact, the discovery was accidental, as the researchers had been working with ferrets to produce a distemper vaccine, when one of the animals caught the flu from a researcher. During the testing period of the vaccine, researchers noticed that some patients did not develop antibodies to the influenza A strain. This led to the discovery of another strain, influenza B, which while not responsible for pandemics can still cause localized endemics. In 1942, a new bivalent vaccine was produced which protected against both strains of the influenza virus. In 1944, this whole virus, inactivated influenza A, and B vaccines was tested in military recruits and college students in the US. And approved for use in the general population the following year. Despite initial enthusiasm for the vaccine, by the time of the 1947 flu season it was clear that the vaccine was not effective against currently circulating flu viruses. As a result, the WHO set up a worldwide surveillance system in 1952 to monitor globally circulating influenza strains, so that a targeted vaccine could be made each year in response. The mass production of disposable needles and syringes in 1954 helped to reduce cross-contamination during the administration of vaccines. And the development of a trivalent vaccine containing two influenza, A and one influenza B strain in 1978 further improved the protection against the most common circulating strains. In 2003 a nasal vaccine was licensed for healthy, non-pregnant people between the ages of 5 and 49. In 2007, its use was extended to children between 2 and 5 years of age. Finally, in 2012, a quadrivalent vaccine against two influenza A and two influenza Bs was released. Apart from research into vaccines which prevent infection with influenza, developments have been made in therapeutics which treat influenza infections once they occur. Medications used to treat flu illnesses are called antivirals. This type of drug works by binding to proteins on the surface of viruses stopping viruses from spreading to healthy cells. Unfortunately, when viruses change their proteins, they can become resistant to antivirals. The first antiviral drug to be released into the US market was amantadine, after its antiviral properties were reported in 1963. Although gaining approval in 1976 in the treatment of influenza A, infection, it is no longer recommended due to its side effects and resistance issues. In 1999, a new class of antiviral medications called neuraminidase inhibitors was introduced. Two antivirals, oseltamivir phosphate and zanamivir, were approved by the Food and Drug Administration, FDA, for the treatment of influenza A and B. Oseltamivir phosphate, brand name Tamiflu, is the most commonly used oral antiviral flu drug that can be taken at any age. Common side effects may include nausea, vomiting and headache. Zanamivir, brand name Relenza, is an inhaled oral drug which can be taken by people 7 years and older except by people with asthma or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD. Common side effects include wheezing, sinusitis and dizziness. In 2014, Paramivir, brand name Rapavab, was developed for people admitted to the emergency department who are not able to take antivirals orally. Paramivir is administered intravenously as a single dose to patients 2 years old or older. The most common side effect is diarrhea. Baloxavir Maboxal, brand name Zofluza, is a single dose oral antiviral drug approved in the US and Japan in 2018 and in the UK in 2021. 
It is used to treat uncomplicated flu in adults and children one year or older. The most common side effects of the drug are diarrhea, bronchitis, nausea, sinusitis and headache. Over the past 100 years, influenza has caused four global pandemics and the constant changes in the influenza genome pose a continual threat to novel emergent strains. The 2009 swine flu pandemic was caused by the same strain of influenza that resulted in the 1918 pandemic. It exposed weaknesses in pandemic preparedness that were somewhat improved by increased surveillance and the development of pandemic risk assessment tools. The monitoring of pre-pandemic influenza viruses, such as the case of bird flu, provides public health bodies with an advantage should the viruses transition from pre-pandemic to pandemic status. Continuing routine surveillance in animal populations known to be influenza reservoir may also reveal important patterns in mutations and recombination events. Despite this, there still remains the threat of a completely new strain emerging, highlighted by the recent COVID pandemic.